orange juice. It's not tea. <laughs> yeah. Slight change. One of my uh, sunflowers broke, so I put them down here to try to heal and recuperate. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. So anyway, I wanted to talk briefly about a phenomenon called passing. And it's the phenomenon where people who are not white nevertheless are able to pass for white. And it's, uh, it's far more famous as a characteristic among people of, quote, black ancestry who are sufficiently pale that they can pass for white. But it's also part of the Métis culture. Some Métis are visually indistinguishable from people who are considered white. And it's something that allows many people to survive where otherwise they would not survive. And it really does refute the notion of race as this absolute barrier, this absolute line. It refutes it. It just shatters that notion completely. Race is not an absolute. It is... Well, it is, for the most part, a fantasy. It is the othering of people based on the most superficial of criteria. But passing is when people that you have othered on the superficial criteria of skin complexion are sufficiently pale that you don't realize that they are the other. And so you shake hands with them, absolutely confident that they belong to your group without realizing that they are, in fact, fooling you. Passing. As a man of Métis heritage, I pass every day. And people are honestly shocked to learn that I am not white. They are shocked, baffled, bewildered, confused. Oh. Whiteness is its own artificial construct, however. And we have arrived at the point where the Irish are considered white. And I remember growing up as a child, the Irish were definitely not white. <laughs> where Slavonic people are now white, and again, when I was a child, they were not. And we even have the... Uh, idea that uh, many people who are plainly <laughs> of African extraction are white because they are just pale, sufficiently pale. And whether this is due to intermarriage between African and European lineages or whether this is some sort of genetic defect or the result of strategically staying indoors all the time so as not to be exposed to any sunlight at all they're able to pass for white. And of course, the great Western beauty standard that, among other things, requires pale skin. That's, uh, yeah. We see a lot of women who go out of their way to find ways to pass rather than allowing their natural beauty to shine through, they torture and mutilate themselves in order to conform to somebody else's beauty standard. And men do the same thing. We frequently mutilate ourselves to conform to someone else's beauty standard, a beauty standard that has nothing to do with our cultural background, our ethnic heritage. Ooh. 
passing. Quite literally, fooling the white man into thinking that you are one of his, his own. <sighs> Which kind of refutes the entire white fantasy of racial superiority as well. <sighs> because if I can pass to the point where you can't tell that I'm not white, doesn't that mean that your whole whiteness is really just nonsense? <sighs> Funny how that works. Funny indeed. Anyway, ta-ta. Take care, be well, stay safe.